Alright, good morning guys. I'm Alpha Ferg doing some UC Davis StarCraft casting. It's the morning. I have messy, messy hair. I have just a t-shirt on, though I usually do. And uh, we're going to be doing some uh, casting. I have a lot of replays I've been trying to get through. You just saw RKO and Sequence do a crazy uh, 2v2 where they just downright dominated. And uh, we're going to go into another game. What do I want to cast right now? Uh, because he's being so nice and watching, let's cast uh, an Imbu game from a buddy. Imbu. And let me actually do the casting picture. So I don't know anything about this game. I just saw the time, which I'm not going to tell you guys. Uh, but it's going to be Imbu versus Arranged Hook. Arranged HK. I don't know. There's a lot in there, man. Arranged. I'm going to call him Arranged. Okay, so it's going to be a PVZ on Taldarim Altar. And it's going to be totally cross position. So this is going to be pretty much a long game. Uh, Peter in the chat, Imbu, saying, Oh dear, I hope this is a good game, lol. I hope it is too, man, because I know how long it takes. <laughs> uh, just being a tease. This this should be a nice, fun game. I'm really excited, because I like watching PvZ. Um, it's almost replaced PvT, which has really been worked out as my favorite matchup. Uh, I just like seeing how Zerg can kind of get that nice uh, Stefano style, lots of Lings, lots of Mutas, checking fast to Broodlords or Ultralisk, really fun stuff. And it looks like Peter is going to expand here. He's going to do a nice fast expand. We'll see what he chooses if he gets the early Forge or if he gets the later Nexus first kind of opening. And it looks like it's going to be early Forge. He's already moving the probe out. He should place the Forge exactly there. And then he'll start scouting with this probe. He's just going to chug along, do uh, some looking around, see what he can find. Uh, I love this key command because I can lean back and stretch while the probe does all the work. Um, you can even see what it looks like. Full screen probage. This probe is checking out the world. He's exploring his surroundings for the first time. What's going on in the Zerg base? Oh, not a fast expand. In fact, uh, this is going to be a gas first spawning pool build, which is pretty much... Uh, in my opinion, a si sign of early aggression because you get that first 100 gas, you get speed, or you get banelings, or you get banelings and speed, or something crazy. Um, and Peter is, luckily, he chose the forge first, and he's going to get this cannon down way before uh, the Zerglings are here, but that is good. He canceled the cannon. Uh, nope, now he's going to rebuild it. Okay, thank God. Uh, he's going to need a cannon here because you can see speed is already on the way. The Zerg making that investment of 100 gas pretty much always is going to indicate that it's going to be an attack. And there's going to be speedlings knocking on the door soon for poor Imbu. And he's going to want to try to wall this in as best as he can. He's still got some work to do, but it looks like he's finally gotten the 400 minerals for the Nexus. He's doing something else. Uh, putting down, he got supply blocked. No, he didn't. What? is huh he's gonna f uh cannon rush no that's not gonna wall it in what is, what is going on Who? he's building a pylon there with his probe that's all the way across the map and these are just gonna die that was a horrible decision peter that was absolutely abysmal, man. Um, well, he got the Nexus down. <laughs> oh, man, he just lost like 300 minerals for zero benefit because he couldn't even be mining at this base. I have no idea what that was. Um, it looked like he was going to try to put down cannons, but then he built a pylon with a probe that he had selected in his base. Oh, man, Peter... Really sorry you chose to do that, because uh, that is a huge loss at this point in the game. But he does have an... Well, it's going to be about... Actually, no, it's a later expansion now because of those pylons. 
and the Zerg player is going to start building a lot of drones. You can see the queens are already done. Um, he forgot to spend his chrono boost on these probes, so he's not going to be able to instantly uh, start mining off this main. Oh man, I'm really sorry, uh, but we'll see what happens from here. That noise stopped outside, so I'm going to open up my window so my cat can get all excited again. Oh, man, it's cold out there. I guess it's going to start raining in a few bit, like in hours or so. It was really sunny when I woke up, and now it's all cloudy. Really, really great weather. I love rain so much. Um, but Range is actually building some Zerglings. He's trying to get map control, it looks like, because he knows he can't bust this. Uh... <clears throat> but he's actually getting a lair and Peter is going for a Stargate I kinda like it it's not the greatest position because if you get a Ling here you can scout it very easily if you get a run by it's almost an immediate scout you can probably hide it back here instead of course then an overlord can move in and see it but here come the speedlings out across the map um, this zealot uh, will finish in time to complete this wall in so that's going to be fine. You can see putting it on hold position there is always what you want to do. So it can just stand there and take ling hits while this cannon works away at those lings. And this is why I hate this map. When you try to get an early third, you can't because there's rocks. Of course, Blizzard adding these rocks. This used to be one of those half maps with six gas or six minerals, one gas, um, and no rocks. So it was kind of like you got two and a half bases easily. Um, but instead, Blizzard made this a full mining base and put in rocks. Uh, so, yeah, that fucking sucks. Thanks, Blizzard. Uh, but here comes a Void Ray across the map, and the purpose of this Void Ray is to deny this expansion. Of course, you can't really get a Queen there early enough, and if you do, it'll die to a single Void Ray if it gets charged up well and gets microed well. <clears throat> But here comes the early Spire, and the Spires are going to pretty much shut down this uh, Stargate play. Um, the, um, and this uh, Void Ray is moving to the wrong third, uh, but he will be able to pick off some of these Overlords. The Queens, there aren't too many of them. There's only two, three on the map, uh, and these Speedlings are just going to scout around. Getting their early upgrades, though, I really like. Uh, Imbo, so you're a little bit behind, but actually not very much. And this Void Ray is now going to kill... Oh, uh, the Overlords have speed, but not fast enough. And actually, the Void Ray gets fully charged. Oh my gosh, he's going to start picking off uh, a lot of stuff here. And the Queens are nowhere in sight. And actually, this is going to be a huge supply block on the Protoss player. Oh, yo! Oh man, the Void Ray was charged there, but now there are four queens poking away at it. I guess it's just as well, and this base is going to start getting attacked. Um, if this Void Ray moves into position, it's just, just sitting here. And uh, the queens are spreading their creep again. Uh, the Void Ray actually not going to check this third, so definitely in, when you're in this position, you don't see these rocks down. Check this third, man, it's probably going to be there. Um, because you forge fast expanded and Zerg need to be on three base at this point in the game. But Peter has no idea, didn't scout it. That's okay. The game carries on. And actually Peter's going to take his own rocks very early. Um, typically when you see this two base kind of play, you kind of wait to see this robo hit. You kind of wait for an immortal or a colossus or something like that to take this third. But all he's doing is taking on the rocks at this point. Uh, but actually no, he is moving out. And he's going to have to deal with mutilisks in a bit. Hold position lings are going to hold position till they die, uh, try to get in there and scout anything. All they see is pylons, because that's all there is. And these two void rays, actually, the void rays look like they picked up some more kills. Oh no. Just killed some overlords. And the rocks are down, so Peter is going to be able to get... Uh, some of this mineral field minerals down. He has a lot of minerals right now, so put down. Uh, yeah, holy crap! Yeah, he's gonna be able to hold the space, uh, but not against any muta harass. Uh, that's actually a lot of cannons. It's not a bad decision to throw down that many, but maybe not spend all. Yeah, that that was just a lot of gas, uh, but it it'll secure the base for a while. And really what he needs is to defend against these mutilisks. There's only six at this point. 
so warp in stalkers uh, when you can actually all these warp gates are on cooldown but here comes some stalkers back at home and oh a nice offensive blink uh, not killing any of the mutas but just doing a little bit of damage that's okay and Peter still doesn't know uh, this guy's creep spread is actually nuts he has a ton of queens so uh, he's actually gonna spread creep all to hell and back um, he should be trying to take this third right now he has some roaches back at home um, uh, what is this guy doing with this mutus, man? Oh, he could blink and take off. No, he's not going to. Um, but there are, there's roaches crossing. Okay, so roaches are crossing across the map, but there's actually a lot of stalkers, and these roaches are not balled up right now. In fact, uh, what is this? This is weird. Uh, so the roaches are going to go down very easily. Uh, if you use blink micro, you can save that stalker. But it's okay. Uh, the roaches take out a photon cannon, but they're just gonna die. So this guy's kind of throwing away his roaches. He's not doing too great of control. Uh, Imbu has a sentry zealot back here in case of anything. And speedlings now coming across the map. This is a pretty big blink push. Um, and if he manages to do well with it, he should do very well with it. Um, but it looks like he still hasn't put down any sort of defense against these mutas back here, and he doesn't have... Oh, that that was a bad blink. Um, and he loses a few uh, probes because of it. But he's getting this third base up very nicely, and that's going to work wonders for him. Uh, that's going to actually do a lot for him, and in fact, Orange Ranged still has... Orange? Orange DHK? I think it, actually that might be it. Orange... Orange hasn't put in de put down this uh, expansion yet, which is going to hurt. Oh my god, losing mutas as if they were a child of yours at a supermarket. Just losing them. Forgot about your kid. Forgot about your mutas. Oh, and uh, free immortal here. What is the immortal doing? It looks like trying to move out and be buddies. Um, here comes a bunch of... Lings, but there's actually a lot of zealots here, and a good blink there, saving the lings. Um, this army, you can see, is starting to catch up. Imbu is starting to really catch up, and with 2-0, he should be working on continuing to get upgrades, especially with this mineral uh, amount. But... This is a nice big army, and now this base will be totally defended. Look at these... And... Oh, so that was weird. Uh, I guess there's a gap there. And here come, uh, here comes the push, and this is a lot of units. Uh, there is an observer, so he'll be fine. He has charge on the way. He has a dark shrine. He doesn't really have a forward pylon. You can kind of get a warp prism in this position, uh, but and this is actually the opposite of what you want. You have zealots killing roaches, and stalkers killing lings. You kind of want the opposite, but that's okay. Because this push is going to do a lot of damage. You can see, uh, again, he's forgetting about his mutalists, and he's just letting them die. The final muta does go down. No more mutas, just lings and roaches. And here comes the engagement. Uh, lots of lings moving in. Roaches doing a ton of damage. Uh, offensive linking, not really to the greatest of position, because these zealots are not having too much to attack, but he's still doing a ton of damage, taking out a lot of those roaches, taking out queens, taking out the overlord here, taking out all this creep. I mean, this... This is, poor Zerg was working on his creep spread. Why'd you have to go and cut this just dark swath into it? You're such a mean person, Peter. Um, but Orange is now has a fourth, and he's finally checking this third position. But it's not there. It's actually down here, and it's almost, you know, too late to take it. it has a lot of nice uh, stuff back here. And Peter might be thinking, where is this base? It's it's here, man. I got a scout. Um... But he's going to do a lot of damage, and he, just this force is, is a really uh, psychological pain in the ass uh, to deal with. And oh no, his army is not engaging where he wants it to. You got to get out of there, man, because your whole army is actually split up into like four groups right now. Uh, he has these zealots up here. He has these uh, tar. Oh, storm, uh, and he has this little oval of stalkers not doing much. But uh, Storm is actually going to do a lot here. Uh, as long as he keeps his army control, it looks like he's moving away and he's going to lose all of these zealots. 
Um, because his army is not in one control group, it's kind of a shame. Oh no, losing a sentry. The sentry was saving up a lot of his uh, energy right there. He was going to spend it uh, at a casino or something, but he lost it. And this uh, over lord went down. I can't count the amount of times that orange has been supply blocked, but what is this I see out of the corner of my eye? Uh, he is getting Ultralisks, and he is getting the Ultralisk upgrade, and, oh my gosh, uh, not a smart Burrow, losing a lot of health on those roaches, and here comes a push, losing an Overseer as well. Uh, this push is kind of scary, but Imbu still has yet to even touch this fourth base. Um, I really would like to see a forward pylon as well, instead of warping units in back here, or a warp prism, you can actually just warp them in, like, here or something, and be able to attack both bases. It looks like uh, there's a lot of spine crawlers there that you're not really going to be able to bust, and now Orange has his fourth, but Peter does as well, so that both players are going to be pretty strong economically. Uh, High Templar lag a little bit. They're very slow. They're not very fast. But he'll be able to push into this practically undefended fourth. Though he thinks it's the third. Uh, but he's not going to. And in fact, he's going to lose these Stalkers here to the Roaches at the Watchtower. Oh my gosh, these Stalkers getting surrounded. Not being with the group means you get left out when the main army hits. Oh my gosh, a giant flank from the front. Peter doesn't notice. He's going to lose a lot of stalkers back there. Here comes a huge storm, but will it be enough? He has another storm on this uh, Templar, but he's not going to spend it. He's took out a um, an assimilator, but here comes the main engagement. Lots of storms going down. Will it be enough? Uh, you can warp Archons with these Templar when they're out of energy, um, and that's going to be all she wrote about those roaches. Uh... Poor Roach is trying to burrow and run away, which I guess helps because of the army, the health regen, but this base is going down, down in an earlier round, uh, along with these Kai Templar, which aren't going to be able to do anything. Um, but this is actually a lot of stalkers, but a lot of roaches as well, and I don't think this amount of stalkers will be able to kill it, and the roaches are doing massive, massive damage to these stalkers, and Peter, because he does not have a forward pylon, He's only warping units back to his base. He just has stalkers. He finally finished three attack, but he has not started the armor, which is going to be just just very effective um, if you continue to get those kind of upgrades. And in fact, I wouldn't be unhappy to see uh, Colossus production now that you forced this many roaches. Um, so he's actually getting nice, nice stalkers. Uh, they're going to be able to pick off a lot of these roaches. Very nice move now that he has his army grouped back up. And Orange is going to be taking his fourth and fifth. Uh, fifth up here. Uh, but he's not going to be able to push. This is a really nice place for these spine crawlers. And Peter is taking a ton of damage by not having his army grouped up. He still doesn't have his army grouped up, man. Uh, it's really getting to me. Looks like Peter is now trying to take a fifth base way over here, but he needs to start getting these units doing stuff. Um, and these roaches are coming really fast. He needs uh, to do something, man. I guess Archons work, but uh, you need to get remember to get upgrades as well. Uh, and Zealots are, are really good against, against these guys, man. Um, he does have the Photon Cannon here still. So I don't know why Orange keeps thinking that his burrow is going to do a lot. And actually, three attack Templar, you can see they're doing so much damage to these. I like these Archons are going to start getting a ton of kills. And finally getting the charge lots that he needs to tank as well. Charge lots are just going to be able to tank all of these roach hits uh, while the Archons do a ton of damage. And that is a great move. Finally, I like where Peter's army composition is going. And he's getting up his fifth base. As long as he remembers to keep his army together, man, uh, he'll be fine. If he attacked with this army instead of two stalkers, he'd be in good shape. Oh my gosh, but this is actually a scary amount of charge lots. Uh, getting that armor upgrade means they live that much longer against these roaches, which is what you want because zealots are like the perfect tanks. 
Holy crap, that's a lot of, uh, these <laughs> Ultralists are finally out on the map, finally getting their attack upgrade. But, what is Peter gonna do? It looks like he's getting, uh, extended thermal, oh my, getting shield upgrade before armor, very interesting. Uh, there's Colossus and Void Rays out, coming out, um, Orange does know about this base here, you can see building it. Uh, smart to put a lot of cannons there, you don't want to have to worry about defending it, so cannons will do that for you. And Orange is trying to move into this base, and I'm not quite happy with that, uh, but that is actually a lot of Ultralisks, will it be enough? Uh, these Archons are doing an excellent job tanking, but the Stalkers are not going to be able to do an excellent job. Finally, Colossus coming out on the field. He needs Zealots right now. He needs a lot of Zealots to be able to take out these Ultras and take out uh, the Roaches, but he doesn't have... He's not building anything. Uh, he's just not warping in anything. He's focusing on his Micro right now, his one Void Ray, one Colossus Micro. And he's gonna lose the Colossus. Uh, he's building a Void Ray and a Colossus, but where is your gateway units, man? Um, and he might even lose this. The Void Rays are gonna start doing really good damage. Uh, but just get get gateway units. You'll be good. Like Dark Templars right now. Game over, man. Um, and this third Void Ray is gonna come out. It looks like here comes a Roche. Roach push into this base. Uh, the roaches shouldn't be able to take out this many photon cannons. Um, but god, you never know. They do have free armor, which is just fantastic. But yeah, it looks like this is going to be enough. Uh, roaches trying to move in, and looks like, oh, they're just going to break through the base, and now they're actually going to be able to take out the whole base. But finally, working at, warping in five Dark Templar about five minutes too late. Dark Templar are going to clean this up very easily. And now you can just start getting map control with the Dark Templar, which is a good decision. You can totally take out this base with one Dark Templar. Uh, yeah. Peter very far behind right now. Um, but he's not far from catching up. He has what the tools he needs to catch up. He just needs to use them. Um, but he's not. Losing a lot of probes there to Ultralisks. Probably one of the most uneven matchups in the game. Uh, probes versus Ultralisks. And he needs gateway units against this kind of force uh, to tank. Because Colossus, you know, they're not the greatest tanks in the world. These, holy Dark Templar, Batman. Holy Dark Templar, lots of DTs in here. Uh, are going to do a ton of damage to this army. Uh, but not before the army does a ton of damage right on back. Uh, taking out the Stargate, but these Void Rays are starting to do very well. And the Dark Templar are actually in very high number. Peter is now getting these Dark Templar on the map. He can totally take out this mining base. He needs to start hitting these totally unprotected bases if he wants to catch up, but he's uh, just going to have a Dark Templar army. And he doesn't have very many probes here. You want to get your probe count up. You have the money to do it. Um, nothing happening right now. Some probes moving across the field. Um, Peter is just trying to get... It looks like he lost his cyber core. Uh, so he has no way to build stalkers or sentries. But zealots are what you want in this kind of engagement. Zealots will take out the ling so fast. Um, I wouldn't be unhappy to see another Forge and continuing to try to get those armor upgrades, which he never got in the first place because they're so darn good. Um, but Dark Templar actually are pretty good tanks. Uh, if you haven't, uh, I played against the computer once. I substituted Zealots for Dark. T I substituted Dark Templar for Zealots. Uh, now this base is going to be totally fine against Dark Templar, as will this base. I substituted Dark Templar for tel Zealots, and it did a lot of damage. That's my story. Um, this army is actually not going to be too great. Um, he's rebuilding the Templar Archives. I wonder why. Um, unfortunately, these Colossus are doing a ton of damage to the Void Rays, but 
these Dark Templar are actually ripping everything up. Uh, the roaches die very fast, the, co the corruptors are falling, and look at the, how uneven that engagement was. Peter was way behind before it, and now he's way ahead. Um, and if he can start hitting these mining bases, he will be in the lead. He's getting his probes here, which I like. Get the assimilator up, and you'll be in even better shape. And you can also take this main back here. Uh, yeah, you just focus on economy, and you won't fall too far behind. And now getting nine high Templar, he's going to get some Archons up in this place. And there's a Colossus as well. He does have Storm if he wants to keep this high Templar as just a high Templar, and he's this guy, oh man, Orange is actually scouting with his drones right now on uh, taking some bases. But this army is scary for Orange, even though it doesn't have the armor upgrades, uh, Zerg just doesn't do that much damage, man. Um, and if there were Zealots in here, though, I can understand wanting to save the minerals. <clears throat> This army should do a ton of damage. Uh, and splitting the lings to try to get around the army, but they're just going to group you up. Uh, the Archons are going to do a ton of AoE damage, as are the Colossus, the Dark Templar, are an added bonus there. And I don't actually see any Overseers. There's two somewhere, but probably not where you'd want them, actually. They're both right here. And as long as Peter can use this army effectively, um, he can use this Void Ray which has 10 kills, I wonder if those are all drones, um, to take out this base very easily. But this this army is going to be able to effectively push uh, because Orange is kind of kind of starving right now. He's only on two mining bases. He's trying to get this third one up. Um, Peter finally <laughs> going to make a move against this base, even though it's done doing practically nothing. It's totally mined out. Uh, way too late here <laughs> for this base, but you'll be able to kill it. The Zealots doing an excellent job tanking, a ton of damage. The Archons doing great as well. That's wow, that's so many Archons right now. And here come the Lings in the back. Uh, some Corruptors trying to do some damage, but this Colossi is going to stay alive and go to work on these Lings. These Lings are just going to get roasted so darn fast. In comes some Roaches. Uh, corruptors again from the wrong direction. Uh, this Colossus, will it go down? Uh, yes, it does, but the Archons are in such great number. Uh, you can see the supply is starting to swing wildly in Imbu's favor. Because Corruptor Zergling isn't that great against this. Um, kind of dream team combination right here, and if Peter can keep hitting the bases. It looks like he's being a little indecisive, grouping up his army before he attacks. Um, but attack he shall, uh, because this is the kind of army you just aim with, my friend. This is what you do, and it's pretty darn effective. This is how Protoss was made to engage. Um, and here comes some Lings in the back, picking off a Stalker but not much else. It looks like the Dark Templar are finally gone. Oh, the Dark Templar turned into Archons, and Orange finally GG's out. He's had enough. What a game! Both players making a few mistakes, but both showing great stamina and determination, and Imbu getting the GG there. Well done, sir. Alright, I'm going to be back. That was a long game. i got to get some water. I might get some breakfast. But I will post on Facebook when I resume casting. I love you guys. Yeah.